In this iOS 18 video, I'm going to share the top changes in iOS 18, specifically for iPhone XR, and the new feature that helps you to play almost any game on these old phones using iOS 18. Hey, what's up there? I'm Sam. So ever since I installed iOS 18 on my iPhone XR, I keep getting asked whether it is the one or not. Well, to be honest, the iPhone XR is really holding it up more than how I thought it could. But there are still things that you need to be aware of. So here is everything that you need to know if you are installing iOS 18 on your older iPhone, specifically on iPhone XR. So as it's well known, iOS 18 is one of the biggest thing ever happens to Apple this year. And that is why you might probably also hear this phrase a lot, iOS copy Android iOS copy Android, iOS copy Android. And if I'm being honest with you, it is true. But look, both brands have history of copying from each other. And I think some of these new features are just too good that it would be bad if I put not add them to their iPhone operating system. And also it's a win game to the user. But I would like to put this out there first. Some of these new features are not available on iPhone XR or older iPhones, including iPhone 15. And that is because some of these new features only works with A17 Bionic chipset and upwards. So with that being said, let's just get into what you'll be getting if you are using iPhone XR with iOS 18. So the easiest place to start is the lock screen. And for the very first time in a long time, finally, the flashlight and the camera on the last screen can be changed to any control center controls that you want. Ideally, this is made for you to easily access your most used control center control without swiping down the control center, which is shocking to see how long it took Apple to finally allow their users to fully customize their home screen to how they want. I guess something Apple's just being Apple. So one of the things that make iPhone users to upgrade to a new iPhone apart from other factors is the need of speed to get games running smoothly and with high graphic details. And with iOS 18, you might not need to upgrade your iPhone XR to get this kind of experience. But remember, I said might. And here's why. One of the exciting things about iOS 18 is Apple added this new feature called Game Mode. And basically what this does on your phone is it stops all background activities as soon as you start playing game. What this means is it automatically activates itself whenever you open a game and stop all background activities and app from using your CPU and your memory so your phone can have enough power and speed to run the game smoothly. I know if you don't want it on, you can tap on it to turn it off. But here's the truth. I've played the same games on iOS 17 with the same settings. And to be honest, I really do not see that much of a difference. But why don't you try it on any of your favorite games? And let me know in the comment if it helps. But once of course you snap out of your game mode, you will get a number of new features that we have been waiting on for some time now. And some of the little but needful things that for some reason Apple did not talk about them at their 2024 WWDC keynote. On the home screen, the first thing that will strike you is icons cannot be moved to anywhere you want on the home screen. And this is done in the new flooding more modern way. And in jingle mode, you get more options to customize your home screen icons. You can now change the color of your icons to your liking and not only that, but you also have the options to pick a random color on your wallpaper to match your home screen icons. And you can do that by tapping on the eyedropper tool and dragging it to wherever you want on the wallpaper. But whilst doing this, you have to take your time because sometimes it gets a bit flagging and the changes in real time can be delayed on iPhone XR. Although all these customization are overwhelming and so unreal of Apple, it also turns out to be very easy to make your home screen look very terrible. That's why I actually like the new dark set of icons Apple added to the iOS it. Because rather than changing the entire color of the icons, it just changed the component to be dark, which looks more appealing in low light. Furthermore, you can also enlarge icons in iOS 18 by selecting the large section at the bottom here, which also removes the name of the icons below, but gives your home screen a very, very simple look. But I will not recommend this if you are not familiar with the app icons. And speaking of apps and their functionality, Apple has added a brand new custom app called Password. With the Password app, you can save all your password pairs in the four settings at one place. The exciting part is you can use it to generate a Wi-Fi QR code for someone to scan to join without you sharing your password with them. And finally, you can now tap and hold on any app to enable your face ID. So now every time you open the app, it will require your face ID before getting access to that particular app. And to take things further, you can now hide apps that you don't want anyone to find out that you have. But what if you want to see the apps that you have hidden? Well, all you have to do is to go to the app library and scroll down to the very bottom 
where you will find a new cloud box. And the smart thing over here is the Hidi app folder has the same interface on everyone's iPhone. So whether you have zero or numerous apps in the apps folder, the outside look the same. So those are the new features you will get with iOS 18 on iPhone 10, which no doubt Apple took tons of inspiration from other places, including Apple Eats on designers. But I think Android is one of the major inspiration for that. It's a very simple operating system, very, very simple look on top, even though there's a lot of complicated things going on underneath. And I like the fact that Apple now allows us to customize our UI how we want, knowing very well that over the past years, everyone's iPhone home screen was the same. So the photo app has been redesigned, which I just want to tell you right away that I don't think this change is going to go over well, and here's why. But first, there is no doubt that Apple has given their photo app the biggest redesign in the history of iPhone. They have got rid of all the tabs and different pages into one scroll. But below the library, there are some suggested content which changes over time depending on what Apple think might interest you. And at the very bottom, there's also a customized tab that you can use to add or remove any tabs that you don't want at the suggested section. Yet everyone that I know still complains about it regardless of all this customization. However, across all other apps, Apple actually went all out to make some incredible changes that I never thought that they would ever do changes like. In the iMessage app, you can now react to messages with emojis and stickers, which make chat more interactive. And yet, finally, message scheduling is now available on iOS 80. RCS messaging is also now available on iPhone, but for some unknown reason, it's not yet showing on my iPhone 10 app. Probably it might be because it's not yet available in my region. So this is where I'll ask you to subscribe to the channel to get notified whenever I post a video on future updates for iOS 18 on iPhone XR. iOS 18 really brings more changes to iPhone to extend where even the phone app has some future updates. Now there's a search bar that you can use to search through all your call history. And also there's a T9 dialing. When you are dialing someone's number, it will predictably suggest who you want to call and all this done manually. Next up is the note app doing math on the note app has now gotten very easy so let's say you type equation in your note app your iphone will automatically solve it for you in real time and things are more organized with no drop down sections and with ios 18 you can also record audio directly to your note app you remember how I mentioned Martin not have has gotten easy, right? Well, when they're calculating up, things got much interesting for iPhone now. With the new update, conversions of currency and weight can now be done effectively in the calculating app. And also you can tap over here to get a pop-up to select between a basic or scientific calculating or even math notes. Plus there's a new history tape in the calculating app. So you can now recall your conversions and the calculation that you have done. If you want to refer them, re-inputting what you have done again, just to see what was the answer. Now, now overall, those are the changes in iOS 18 for iPhone XR, which makes the XR much more budget and backup phone to use in 2025. However, you should know that iOS 17 still provides security updates to your phone just like the previous iOS. So in case you don't have enough space on your phone and you can't upgrade to iOS 18, you can still use the 17 and your phone will work just fine. Lastly, some features were not added to the iPhone XR iOS 18 but are compatible to iPhone 11 and above. But again, I was surprised to see the calendar update were part of the iPhone 10 and iOS 18. Like how your reminder are now updated in the app so you can see everything at one spot. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, you are going to love this video over here where I talk about in much detail exactly how the iPhone XR is really performing into this world. So check out that video before buying iPhone XR in 2025. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.